Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Summit for Europe, where NIP is about to take on Navi Winter. Best of three, lower bracket action. Loser will be eliminated. Winner will stay alive, but has a long way to go. At this point, these teams have to win out, and of course, the top two teams in Europe, your winner bracket champions and your lower bracket champions, will come here to the live finals in Los Angeles. So it's exciting, man. This is the debut of Navi's latest incarnation. I'm afraid NIP are doomed. And I peered doomed. All right, well, <laughs> if that wasn't a spoiler, let's just go ahead and spoil the draft now. Picks and bands have begun. So we'll go ahead and hop on into it. Navi versus NIP. Game one. Let's see what else do they have in mind to actually handle the doom. That's relocate for now. What is this thing up there? I'm sorry? Uh, that's relocate for now. Okay. I, I just wanted, I wanted to see what else do they have in mind to actually deal with the, the, the doom. Yeah, whether it's, uh, we've seen Centaur, the other big hero, uh, used to be very popular, you and I talk about him, but situational, I guess, not a hero that most teams are grabbing very often, so, not being picked up as of yet, and IP will go into another uh, pseudo counter to Doom, I guess you could say, with the Grave, at least lets you fight a bit longer, potentially, you can wow, look stay at alive. The, look at the bands going through. They were really, really quick, they just removed uh, both of Yuna's heroes, the Legion, which they always pick for maybe not always but a lot of the games where they had with they paired with the legion commander x as well one of the heroes that Yunus is very comfortable in playing hmm. so lena doom opening this nip opening and uh, they do like their io but still io dazzle is not a duo that we see often usually teams save at least one support for phase two but i guess nip seeing that they've given away the doom just want to try and deal with it as much as possible and like you said now the big initiator is getting banned out. Two of Yonas and Fon's favorites, I think especially the Axe comes to mind as a hero that he in particular excels at. And now a Wyvern grab by Navi. So a Suniko classic, and it is worth mentioning with this new Navi roster winter, at least for now, Suniko. Looks like he is the drafter. Uh, from what we understand, everybody's a trial right now, except for Suniko and Dendi. At least they haven't said this yeah. is the, like, the final lineup. Yeah, I was going to say they, they are going to pick Necro first based on how they are opening the draft because they needed a lot of heals against the duel. It's the, it's the secret duo, the Necrophos IO. And this would also m allow them to actually have a really strong lane. Now you talk about IO and Dazzle, not something that we see a lot because it doesn't have stuns between the two supports, Zeus. but you are, if you use it to actually win a lane with a Necro, you just... Uh, keep pushing and you have all those amount of heal in the lane, you can actually pressure their safe lane very, very heavily. Alchemist. Now you're gonna grab the Zeus. This is something fresh. Used to be considered one of the better heroes against an IO because he has so much burst damage. So you get a, if you manage to get the Thunderbolt on him in the fight, you pop your ult. Normally he's either dead or one other nuke will finish him off. So a forgotten hero in some ways, Winter. Ten Nobody's picking remaining. Zeus right now. Nobody except for Navi. Nobody's picking Zeus remaining. indeed. Like when we see Zeus, usually there are a few reasons in the past. You pick Zeus for the vision, so you have a hero like Storm. You, you use your ultimate and then the Storm can just choose whatever target he sees that is the furthest away from his team. Or you, you actually go for the Radiant Zeus Blood Seeker, Team which is, I mean, quite obvious why you do that because you have a lot of damage with Blood Rage. So we'll see what type of route they actually go for. Okay, this is totally different. Huska has a lot of uh, spell resistance against Necro Force. The Necro Counter, would you say? <laughs> necro Counter. Uh, I don't know. He also has to be really low for that ult to do a lot of damage, which is where yeah, it's going to hurt a lot more. I guess you do have a lot of spell resistance. But the laning phase, he might actually have a troublesome laning phase, depending how they lane him. Maybe they lane him mid against Alchemist. Hmm. Doom should... Be wait offlane doom. No, Lina could be mid. Then offlane doom. Then safe lane Haska. Because Zeus Five might be a support. Remaining. Might be a support. so Zeus would support the safe lane. Like I'm, I'm just wondering how they're gonna lane the Zeus. Because to me, that's kind of the weak point. You think the Zeus will be mid? And you think you think a mid Zeus? Is I that think what you're they saying? can do mid Zeus or mid Lina. But support Zeus, like you mentioned, seems a bit weak. So. Probably a mid Zeus. And it seems to me like you want to keep the Zeus away from the Necro IO. Like, that's not a duo that he wants to match up against early. Unless he has help. But Zeus against Alchemist mid, it, it would just mean that the Alchemist gets free farm. That's <laughs> you know what it also could be is uh, support Wyvern and Lina, mid Zeus, uh, Huskar safe lane, and off lane Doom. Yeah, or, or switch those two. Yeah, that was what I said. I, I, oh, I okay. thought that was the most possible scenario. But then the laning phase would be... Well, no, because you were saying mid Lina. 
yeah, either one of those, like Zeus mid or Lina mid. Because I'm, I'm saying Zeus mid would be easier for Alchemist. Because Alchemist would just free farm the lane, I think, against Zeus. But Lina might be able to put more pressure on the Alchemist. But then again, Zeus support is something that is very weak at the moment. Used so to be that is more unlikely to happen. I think the Lina mid would be something that we won't see. It's probably just a Zeus mid. Even though I think Lina is better against Alchemist. Looks like NIP really taking their time so here should with be reserve a time. Eunice hero because uh, Era plays the Necro, Lim will play the Elk. But okay. three and big initiators have been banned, so what's left at this point? Actually four, yeah, counting the Tusk. And Centaur, we, we, we mentioned it. Considered by many the Doom counter for Stampede. Well, it's not like a super hard counter, yeah. it's just allows It can you help. I mean, it can help. When, when you get the Aghanims, obviously it will help a lot. But at, at the moment, laning phase is like a, a tough thing. How, how well the lanes will go for the Centaur? Because I feel like they are going to be doing aggro tri lane, most likely with the Necro, with the Dazzle, the pressure. Centaur would get a 1v1 matchup against... Uh, I mean, ideally you want to face Doom, right? Mm -hmm. If you face Haska, then you're screwed in the lane. 1v1. Who do you think is best equipped to face the Huskar? The, the Necro Io? Yeah, you, you want the Necro Io Dazzling to go to the Huskar, to go versus the Huskar. Alchemist would just do Ten fine against... But it's they are a Huskar, so he looks... If they play their like more standard roles, he would be safe lane then. And Funic would go to the off lane. Mm, yeah, but they might actually choose to dodge the... Because I, I feel like NIP have the stronger try lane with the Wiz. Necro and the Dazzle. Their lane are much stronger, so maybe Navi yeah, wants to dodge by sending someone somewhere else. So we'll see how they put their lanes, but the Zeus versus Alchemist matchup, I think it's just fine for the Alchemist to farm. Alchemist shouldn't have any problems in that lane, as long as you are able to get secure the first bounty rune. They have very strong level 1 heroes like I talk about a lot. When you have Alchemist, you want to drop a lineup which is really powerful level 1, so you secure the bounty rune for the Alchemist. That is really important for them. All right, guys, we're underway now. NIP versus Navi. Game one of a best of three. This is an elimination match. Somebody's going home. Will it be Navi with their new test roster? Or will it be the old stalwarts in NIP? We'll find out soon. So it is going to be the Dendi Zeus. Suneko will be on the support Lina, starting off with a mango. Increases your chances of happiness in the landing stage by at least 50%, I have to say. And along with that, we're going to see Always Want to Fly playing the Wyvern. And they are looking to contest this top rune, it seems, early on. Funic, he meanders into the Radiant Jungle, actually in Vision of a Ward, but they will allow him to leave. No ward placed by Funic, although NIP might not know it. Could be some mind games here with the wards. And on the Radiant side, we have NIP Era on the Necrophos, Eunice on the Centaur, Silky playing the Dazzle, Hanskin on the Support Io, and lastly, we have Limp securing his happy rune on the Alchemist. So the lane should be A OK for the Alchemist from now on against Zeus. Bottle coming out right now, so Limp off to a great start here. As for Dendi, he'll have his work cut out for him. How to slow down the gold machine. Wait, no one's... Okay, Doom is actually going to go to the jungle first. Maybe Lina's going to huh. rotate bottom for some experience. I think he just wants a creep. Yeah, probably just wants a creep, and he's going to return down. But the Lina's going to be quite late. And it's Big Bird. Yep, so this is the aggressive try lane with the Wiz Dazzle and the Necrophos. This is the ideal setup. They want this lane to go up against the Haska, Alchemist versus Zeus, Centaur versus Doom. So the 1v1 for Centaur is even going to be fine for him against the melee hero. So the laning wise setup is really good for NIP. This is what they wanted. They're gonna get that aggressive tri lane, trying to put some early pressure on Date Yara. Just has the fire spears for now, but harassment may be a futile exercise against the tether heal, the dazzle oh, heal. Yeah, I don't think you even bother to harass them. <laughs> no, this is where you just tank up and run for your life. You just focus on last hitting and getting experience with pulls. When you go in, you have to kill. You can't harass, you have to make a kill. Because otherwise, all your Harris will be wasted with the Tether, the heal, the, the Death Pulse. And bottom lane, we see the Doom versus uh, Centaur matchup. Since Centaur had uh, sort of a head start because Doom went to the jungle, I think this lane will be really good for Eunice. He should be able to do fairly well against the Doom. Yeah, all early on 6-6, six and six, though I think some of those were before the yep, Doom before actually the Doom. entered the lane. But now that he's here, Doom... Doesn't have the, the Satter, at least has the plus armor though, which will help him to trade blows 
Yep, now even with the Centaur, thanks to that Wildkin as well as his Reign of Protection, so... Uh, decent laning creep for the Doom, which helps keep things relatively even, but he is getting out CS rather heavily for now. Uh, Doom should be able to get back on the uh, track. Big skirmish at the top. Rune was breaking out the Alchemist. Bottles and Invis. Oh, he really wants to take the bottom rune and as well. I imagine we'll see Dendi moving there soon, but Limp's almost able to get past him. Dendi. Oh, this is tricky. Tank the Essence Spray. Now he makes his move. Limp. Nah, he's not going to bother. Yep, he just wants to because there's a lane of creeps. Like, if you actually farm all the creeps, it's like getting a, getting the bounty rune as well. It's the it's only the first bounty rune where you actually fight so hard to get. The other bounty runes, if you're getting a lane, I think it's fine for the alchemist if you find the whole wave of creeps in return of uh, not getting the bounty rune. And this is also one of the early bounty runes, so the it's yeah. not, it's, you're not... You're multiplying a smaller number by five, so... Not as scary. Yeah, the other thing I wanted to say about the bottom matchup with the Doom versus Centaur, even though Centaur had a good head start in the lane, but as you get more points in Scorch off, the lane should be going much better for the Doom when he reaches level 4 or level 5. And then I guess the real question is going to be who has the bigger impact when they rotate? Mm. Will it be that early stampede, do you think? Or I mean, do you feel like Funic rotating in will? It's a little unfair to compare that because uh, Santa has global range. Oh, here we go, top lane. They're going to go in. With Done the on the arrow, but Hanskin's ready with the tether. They could throw in an additional heal if need be. And everybody at full health, Did though. They Hanskin even take starts damage? to take the fire spears. Damn. Did yeah. they even hey, take Hanskin's damage? pretty low now. But he'll tango up. And their dazzle heal in reserve yep. if need be. They didn't waste too much man. Oh, okay. Wyvern doesn't have enough for two spells now, so they need to wait wait up. So every time they go in like this, if they don't get a kill, it's like you're wasting all your mana because they are gonna heal up with the tether and the the, the heal from the dazzle plus the necro. So you you go in, you ideally you wanna get a kill in this lane. You don't want to just be harassing or chipping down. Get out of here! Yeah, get out of my lane! Screw you guys! You are doomed. Suddenly, even on CS, 17 and 1, down 7 to nice, but again, most of them were before oh. he actually he showed up. He went for Orb of Venom. Ah, again, no bounty rune. Wow, Yunus is like constantly using double H to like farm the creep waves. It's always, it's putting him low. He might it's die really here. risky. Whoa. Well, Scorched Earth on cooldown. And he does know the Scorched Earth is on cooldown, but still got to be careful. Yep. So right now, Doom is like starting to get a better stranglehold on this lane because he has a lot of points in Scorch Earth. Centaur from now on might need to be more cautious with his play. He needs to be at like at least 70-80% health all the time to not get run down and killed by the Obo Venom Doom. Well Winter, whenever we see an Alchemist, we like to check the jungle. How many stacks does he have? Right now, <laughs> counting a single double stack. Come on, we check the jungle if there's a Shadow Fiend. <laughs> well, Alchemist as well, but no ancient stacks as of yet. Only one double stack at the big camp. And of course, this is the one downside of the aggressive tri lane amongst oh, anything the else. Doom. The doom. Try to go on Doom, but uh, Doom, you go on Doom. No, he goes on you. Funnick running after Hanskid. Now going to continue Scorch Earth away, but he gets slowed by the Stampede. Follow up oh, stun is there. He's healing through they this. They can't even tickle him. Fools, I have seven armor. He oh. runs. He runs, and even if this double edge hits, not sure it'll be enough. It's going to be fairly close. Funic does survive. Oh. One more auto attack. It's enough. The first blood goes the way of Era. Oh, that was a long range auto attack. Didn't actually think he had it, but he just had enough. Any normal offlaner would have died, like, not even halfway through <laughs> that. <laughs> halfway through uh, that. That's just ridiculous. <laughs> what a hero. Always a pleasure casting the Doom. Well, this does three things up for Ditya Ra really? and. You enjoy casting Doom? Oh yeah. I'm well, getting out of I here, dude. I, I'm Doom. getting out of here. I'm out of here. <laughs> it's just so obnoxious, you know? Like, five heroes running after him. He's like a raid boss. He kills one. He smacks down another with a crit. Then he starts running away and comes back in Sounds ten like seconds later with full health. Sounds like Alchemist. Yeah. But Alchemist <laughs> needs some farm time. Doom just gets going from level, level one. Level, okay. <laughs> well, not level one. Level le three. Le level okay. seven, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Then he gets really crazy. And now he does have Doom. He's also full mana again, so maybe a blessing in disguise. He kind of needed that fountain trip anyway. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Huskar was not really slowed down, Winter. He almost has an armlet already. Well, he doesn't have perfect CS, though. At 6 minutes 30, it's not, yeah. like, it's not like free farm on the safe lane. So they still did some damage, but at the end of the day, like you mentioned, they rotated the Necrophos out like one and, a one, one and a half minutes ago. So Huskar was able to regain control of the lane. They felt it wasn't worth it because, number one, Centaur was not doing very well against Doom, and they felt like they weren't really getting a kill on the 
on the Haska or his teammate, so it wasn't worth it for them. So they rather rotate all the lanes back, pressure the Doom, and at least get something going instead of like losing two of the lanes. Man, he only has the one point in Berserker's blood, so Whoa. definitely Doom. not combat ready. Someone's yet. gonna be doomed. Prepare to be doomed, Era. He will take it. There's a level one grave available. He tries to wind his way through the trees, and while that was happening, Tsuneko went down in the mid lane, but let's keep our eyes on Era as they dive. The IO even coming in. They're still committing for this. The Doom's wearing off fairly soon, but there's the Zeus so Helps secure the oh, kill. Oh dear. Well, they had grave though. Did it, he didn't actually didn't escape. expect the Zeus salt. Yeah, the Zeus salt. And come while up. that was happening, it looks like Suneko got jumped mid. May have had to throw his body in the line of fire to save Dendi, who's also very low. I hope Dendi will back off. So, pretty mm. cool combo here with yeah. with the Doom plus the Zeus salt. It's tough to time your graves. Yeah. Or your defensive. You have to sort of uh, time it earlier, regardless, because you you kind of can't expect when the Zeus is going to pop his ulti. So every time you're, when you're playing against Zeus, you have to use the Grave extra early. It's not something that is ideal, but you have to do it. Oh boy, Seokin has a TP scroll. And the Grave, he runs, he will, t he will TP out. While that was happening, always when a flag gets picked up. But Handskin in danger as well. One more auto-attack from the lead to secure the kill. Now Dendi in pretty far. Centaur stun, but a counter Centaur stun from the neutrals! Might be enough for Dendi to get off an additional bolt. It will. Dendi's going to live. He nukes down that creeps. Dendi survives. Some unexpected assistance from the jungle. Can never complain about that. <laughs> Era chasing out Funic. He does have one more heal. I think that's enough. No stick. Oh, I Wyvern? See, I see. I see. Does save him. Oh. Good turnaround. <laughs> the, the 360 no scope. Cold embrace and then chase forward. And well, the Alchemist will trade his life for the Zeus. Man, crazy fights. Wolf. Back and forth all over the place. Alchemist has 1,000 go away from his, from his dear relic. The thing that worries me for an IP is we haven't seen Husker join the fights yet. He's still farming. He's getting his levels. Only level 7, actually, but he's going to start getting those extra points yeah. in Berserker's blood Le soon. Level 8, level 9, level 10 is the few crucial levels that you want to get so you actually finish up. Some players even actually don't max the berserkers but sometimes I, I think i see miracle do that a lot he gets like two or three points and then he goes back for inner vitality maybe it depends on certain lineups that he's going for not every game he does that but ideally haska even though you have armlet you want to get your levels before you try and go into combat because you want all your berserkers blood points you know before you try and be too aggressive all right everybody let's have a normal laning oh. phase now normal <laughs> <laughs> We've had like 500 rotations already, even though the score is all only, I'm going to say, 4-4. Four to four. Well, that was all going on. The Radiant managed to get up a ward here bottom Dude, as well. By the way, Power Trace Doom is the first, I think, for the whole week we've been casting the games. Yeah. He wants to be more tanky against Necroforce, I guess. Gives you a little extra mana to work with if you're toggling as well. Well, the attack speed but is fun. That's true, with the Alpha Wolf. But I feel like the the phase boots drums normally will give you that as well. Uh, I think the only benefit, uh, the biggest benefit you want here is just being more tanky against the Necro Force because you are running up in front most of the time. You just want that extra HP, you know. It might be a difference of dying to a Necro Force ulti or you still die but you don't die under the duration. So you don't get that extra 30 seconds in, you know, in the in the grave. That actually Look. might mean a lot. <laughs> what is wrong with Zeus's portrait, by the way? What's going on oh, here with wrong? it? It's an old man with, with a ton Oh, of you have a normal portrait. I've got like a horribly... <laughs> look, at, look at this thing. <laughs> We're getting a close-up here. He's really like up in his armpit or something. It's stinky in here. All right, I, I, now he's normal I, I, again. I told you not to piss Ben off. <laughs> you won't like Merlini when he's angry. <laughs> so they do manage to take the tower down bottom. Looks like an IP did not want to contest. Also worth mentioning, Dendi... He stole most of the Alk stacks uh, away from the mid lane, so trying to slow down Limps. Did, didn't he steal just one here? Like here? Well, and he's working on others. And now Funic's gonna come in as well. So they will do have the Alpha Wolf. He's not gonna get a new Aura, but uh, he, he does have he Doom ready. He gets the early Vlad, so is he going to run to the Roche? No. They have Husker. I feel like they could rush quite early here. <gasps> oh my god, that was too close for comfort. The Yara almost died there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just saw his health drop him like, okay, they can rush here, but it should be okay. He had to be safe. He's got by the, the heal if he needs it. Maybe just want to pop it. Oh, here comes Hanskin. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hello, little Hello. Io. How's it going, buddy? It oh, is. he this? And he's no! snatching. No! Hanskin, the plays. Oh, my God. That Beep, boop. Beep, boop. 
And they take a tower while that's happening. So, Grand Theft Ages. Dire do get the last hit, but... Oh my god, that is... Handskin, the man, savior. You play your first official game and you have a new roster and that happens to you. <laughs> I'm trying to think what noise an IO makes when it celebrates. I just had to come up with like a random beep. He can't even, he doesn't even have hands. I guess what he does is like he rolls his balls in, around in celebration. He like spins around excitedly, yeah. bounces up and down a little bit. Yeah, here we go. The timing is here. Blink plus... Oh, no relocated yet. There's only a blink on center, but... Well, timing also getting there for the era wins her three points of Berserker's blood. He's getting beefy. He's still very mad about what happened. <laughs> oh, yeah. You want to be able to dunk and dive if you're the era here. Oh, well, he is actually really strong right now, regardless. He has armlet plus the Helm of Dom, and... Is he actually going to build... Okay. He's just jumping in, but you see, the question is, is he actually going to build the Guardian Greaves though? Mm, no. For the Huskar? Yeah, probably No, not. it looks like, looks like... I mean, the belt could mean Halbert, but mm. it's more likely a Treads, I guess. Yeah, I think more likely a Treads. Because there's no one on their team that could... I mean, you could count on the Wyvern, but he's going to have a Mac very late. But here comes Funnick. Who's going to be doomed? He wants that bounty earn. <laughs> Nobody. You know, you would rather... Get Doom and, and die, and you, you get the bounty rune, and you're happy about it as Alchemist. I don't think so once you have Radiance. Uh, does he have Radiance? Oh, yeah, yeah he does. Oh, come on, man. Oh, shit. Where you, where's your head at, Winter? Get your head in the game. I thought I was saying that he, he had a relic like a, a few minutes ago. Okay. Yeah, when he died, he had like that, that previous <laughs> fight, like at se seven or eight minutes, he had uh, 2,900 gold. Well, so I would hope Limp has Radiance <laughs> by now. Okay. He's an Alchemist after all. Dendi, meanwhile, grabbing a four staff. Nice little utility item here to help kite the centaur initiation, perhaps. Yeah, and it's very useful for mo moving around against the alchemist stun as well. Moving out of position, so it's a very useful I item, obviously, in this game. And they're looking to dunk Limp. Back up, not available as far as the relocate oh, goes. Now they are going to try to stampede about the Doom was used, but Chemical Rage nah. will keep Limp alive. He heals right through it. This is the other Doom counter, I guess, getting your ult off. As an Alk. Getting your ult he's full HP and he's chasing while doomed. Getting your ult Aha! You have met your master. Now they hunt for more, but a little bit too far to catch up. So the doom blown. We see the stampede is potentially a very good way to deal with this. Meanwhile, top lane, oh, Yonsupan go. going for the big solo kill onto Sonico. And while that's happening, Dia Ra able to get a kill. Sonico turns Who gets it. the kill? Who is getting for the one. kill? You see the Santos going for the solo kill. Attempted there, but the Lina survives. <laughs> the, at the attempted solo kill. Yeah. Turns on the Centaur, blows but him how, up. How is he so tanky? He had four points in each spell. Crap. Top tower Lina had stick. That was the big thing there. And there was, uh, there was no stampede. So I guess without that, that's the difference that extra, Yeah, that extra bit of damage. If he has stampede, that's an easy kill. It said Lita gets off the combo and Centaur dies. I guess and while that was happening, they also lost their dazzle. I guess so Santo, a two for nothing. Centaur wasn't enough. at full health when he went in. Mm, he was close to May full. Maybe double edge. Yeah, he loses yeah. a lot for the double edge, obviously. So. And no magic resistance yet. You know, looking at the lineups, both teams have like very strong late game. And but the, but then Alchemist is gonna be able to buy X for everyone else, so you don't want the, you don't want the game to go too late. <laughs> oh. Zayara tanking a stun, the blink stump, not gonna connect. You some fun, he's searching. They will deny the tower bottom lane and Navi, they take this opportunity to smoke. They're gonna wrap right on mid. The squad wants to fight. Oh. Sonic just getting a little gold along the way. They are split pushing. Still no level six on the IO. It's an IO with an Aegis, but no level six. Getting close to it. I guess you can farm the wave a little more aggressively here if you're handskin. You know, it's not every day you can get an Aegis on Ayo. Yeah, but yeah. 16 minutes, still not level 6. <laughs> <laughs> Normally you want that, you want to be able to like throw yourself in harm's way to save your team. And they do now have Vision of Era. Now he's moving into position. Oh, no. Era, Era, no relocate to save like him. That first screwed. lightning bolt hits. He has a teleport, but he they can cancel screwed. this. He is screwed. <laughs> Indeed he is. No doom required. Just a quick bolt and down he goes. 
So we'll see a BKB coming out from Panic as well against all the burst damage. Uh, very, very good item selection against those lineup. It's a very useful item. Oh, here Sonego. we go. go. Counter initiated, but the insane jump in from Jonas and Fun also catches the era. Then the Winter's Curse trying to counterplay. There's always one of oh, five. We'll get rid of the Aegis. The era still healthy here, though. He wants to go for round two. Four dead with the Aegis. Make it five. Nice second life, Io. <laughs> I don't need it. That's wow. what you get for Jack in my Aegis. Larry David, so savage today. Uh, DR, I was the savage one, man. I'm just, I'm just expressing his thoughts. He hates all IOs. <laughs> all right. Push down mid, and it is going to be the, the Sanj that you mentioned. So. Yep, he's going to go Halbert. for Halbert first. So I guess that would actually mean the Y1 would be the one getting, uh, getting the max for his team. But I, I, I do still think that the. The Garden Greaves is always a very good item on Huska, but maybe because they have the Necro for this game, so he feels like he doesn't want to get it. Because if you're low, if you're low enough, uh, uh, meanwhile Soneko just killed Centaur Solo Bottom. <laughs> What's going on? Oh no! What was he fooling? He up was. Again? I think he tried to jump him again, and the Yules is there, so comboed him, I guess. Because Lina didn't even take a scratch from that. Yeah, she must have. She must have interrupted some sort of jump with a, a Yules. And this is while you see four pushing mid. So if you're the centaur there, you're just thinking like, okay, I can go for a solo kill. I can yeah, maybe they, rat. They have relocated, so he was definitely going for that play. Yeah. There. But, but Neko just does work. This is this is getting out of hand, Winter. The support Lena is quickly becoming a carry. Six k net worth, only behind the alchemist from the radiant side. He's the head of the Necrophos. Oh crap. He's That's okay though. Necrophos can be given an egg, so he's building. This is a hero that can be given a little cash injection. But what is he building? Look at—he has point booster and stuff. He is building an egg, so it looks. So like. he's—he doesn't want pity from the alchemist. That's gonna keep him poor for a while, though. Alchemist is going for combat build, not the Naga build. So he realizes that. I think we talk about this a lot. Sometimes we feel like the teams and the players overrate the. Manta build a lot with the Octarine call when even when you're losing, you know, so it doesn't allow you to fight It just allows you to rat. So this this time around the Alchemist in this game, which is Lim He's choosing to go for more combat build after the Radiance because they they know that they need the Alchemist to be able to help the team fight BKP is on the way for Funic and NIP are moving in behind the Alk. They're gonna show him top yep. lane. You want some fun hunting. He needs BKP should arrive in time. They do not see the courier coming in either. He, the he can he just run in. The rest of Navi smoking, except for one man. Your carry Lina just solo pushing the bottom lane. Now they doom lift. They stampede him back. They have the relocate of Hillbone. It's already used, but he's so damn fast that he got back to the exact same location. And now the Winter Wyvern curse comes through. Funic chasing through the tree line. They dunk on Era. Era's gonna go down. Limp forced back. Did he even manage to get off the chemical rage? But the IO heal keeps him alive. The IO will now relocate back forward into the waiting arms of Seneko. Oh, the wyvern. Nope. Seneko gets the last hit again. He TP'd home for this. Uh, or rather, to the tier two, I should say. And now, Navi, two kills the richer, looking to push. Oh, hey. Yeah, why not? Mech on top of this. Oh, I, Jesus. I, I thought the other guy was going to get the mech. Okay, apparently He's not. He's so fat. This guy will get the mech. What a team player. Oh, I thought he was going to go greedy with... Obviously, we, when we see support Linas, it's always going to be the Aghanims after the use, or even a Bloodstone in certain games. Team player it is. He's top. the new captain. So he has to keep everyone in check. I have the mech, guys. Let's go. All right. Seems to be working. So far, the new Na'Vi. They're only winter. First game, only one game with this new temporary roster, but they're gonna look to hold this. NIP trying to turn, they jump on Funic, BKB's available. He does not get it off just yet. Now that Necrophos all comes through, but he's healed up by the Cold of Rays. BKB, Scorched Earth now, Funic turns, he even tries to toss out a level death on the way forward. NIP in a lot of trouble now. They've committed pretty much everything. The Necrophos nearly dropping to the spears. He may go down, they just wear off now. As Hanske runs into Yara ever so low, but again kept alive by always one of Fly's defensive play. And now, Dendi rains down the paint. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Triple kill off the bat seal, kid. Could be an ultra. Dendi wants it. He's diving for it. He's fogged. Uh, and he's not going to get it. But Seneko turns on to Lip now. Yule Scepter available. They can commit for Lip if they'd like. Lightning Bolt. Yule's is a creep. All right. Well, a little bit of an intimidation Yule's there. Just saying, we don't even need to kill you. We'll get you later. By the way, the, the Doom is already at full health. <laughs> yeah, okay. Cool hero, guys.
are pushing further. Oh, this is this is looking really bad for them. Rex might be might be in serious trouble here. They still have the doom available for them. Dityara, the siege tank as well. Up on the front lines, that cold embrace. Doing so much work in that last fight. Three times it saved heroes. And now they're all healthy enough to withstand a little bit of a siege, though. And IP, fortunately for them, the respawn timers are low, so they get back in time to defend the, at least a lane of Rax. But as we see that, always want to fly. He's deployed some wards on the way out. It's a good vision now for Navi over this mid lane. And Dendi, Bloodstone at 22 minutes. I feel like nobody on Navi has been farming this game, Winter. It's just been five man, fight, 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 nonstop. You check their CS, Huskar, only 118 at Hus 22 Huskar minutes. Huskar never has a good amount, like a huge amount of CS. Oh, they got limp. They're going to dunk him. He's doomed right now. Relocate is available. They'll bring him back to safety. But it's going to cost Hanskin oh, most likely. And while that's happy the at the bottom room, Saneko finally down. The carry it took three, but they got him. So now, the sad times of an IO. See you, Hanskin. You did your job. Your sacrifice will be noted. From beyond the grave. <laughs> nice one, beyond the grave. BKB, not for the out, but... You know, he's still gonna be a little vulnerable in these fights. Mm. I guess there's a lot of nuke damage. It's gonna be really helpful for him now when he has the BKB, because like the main damage coming out from Navi is obviously spell. Like the Zeus, even the Huska life break and the Lina is all spell damage, so... BKB and you have SMY for the movement speed, so even if you get Doom, as long as you have Chemical Rage, you're moving very fast, and obviously that's Tether. So I don't think he's worried about getting Doom now, it, it's all about not dying to the first that's coming from Navi. If he's surviving the fights, then they have a chance to win. Because they NIP are. is counting on the Alchemist to do most of the damage, it seems like the, the Necroforce is just struggling in all the fights. He can't really get a lot of damage done because of all how far behind he is in the game. Into the pit! The ERA healing up, and Navi are no committing for this. No invis balls this time. Oh no, no <laughs> shenanigans. They have to do this the old-fashioned way. Nobody really wants to go and mark first. No, you go. You fight the Doom. No, you fight the Doom. <laughs> All right, BKB Alex says, I'll do it. He runs in, tries to fight. He does get a lot of damage out on Funnick up the bat. Good physical right clicks there. Lena, meanwhile, chunking Jonas and Fonlo, but Navi get the Aegis, and Dayara leaps forward. Always going to fly again. The Cold Embrace saving lives. They got to finish these low HP heroes. Arrow running all through the middle of the Navi squad, but now Force back. He will go down, and the doomed Limp unable to really engage. He tries to hang on, but his health drops quickly. Limp will go down to a two hero stun. The wipeout from Suneko is four fall, and they're not done yet. They want Jonas and Fon slaving, uh, just barely failing. The Flames licking at his heels, but Jonas and Fon will be the one man that gets away. So they hang on to their Aegis, they get four kills, and Na'Vi continue their relentless onslaught of NIP. It's just the way their lineup is meant to work. They are not going to farm, they're going to just get some items, the basic items, and they're going to be looking to fight all the time. They are not going to let your alchemist with your greedy grievous greed farm. Greed, no greed, 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 greed. One he actually was greed. doing good damage in that fight. Yeah, he, he was. He was, he was messing up the Doom pretty bad. Doom doesn't have that much armor, though. Oh, here we go. Buybacks. They need to make this work. Dendi has 13 Bloodstone charges. Could save his team, maybe, if he wants to go for the heal. Yeah, just to air off for now. Oh, they may no. just sacrifice Dendi for the greater good. Yep, the, the sacrifice. No, he's bloodstone. sacrificing himself. Yeah, the air off, though. May die twice. They got a lot of stuns here. No eggs yet on Era, unfortunately, but still can... They should be able to take this fight, though. Will His they? Team is around. Will they? Alk stuns on cooldown. Suneko's in position. The stun comes through, and the Wyvern's going to engage. Can keep Dayara alive if need be. The PKB Alchemist goes to work. Dayara, Cold Embrace again. Always want to fight with the huge Cold Embraces. Completely changing the course of these fights. Making this the Huskar just such a pain in the rear to build. And then kill, and they just can't do it. It's four down. Dendi right back in the fray. Right back for three more Bloodstone charges. And GG, Navi, stomp out NIP here at game one. My god, that felt like the old Navi, dare I say it, Winter. You're trying to kill my friend, sis, always wanna fly? No, you don't. Always wanna fly looked like Suneko on the Wyvern that game. <laughs> Although, I mean, hey, he just hit Cold Embrace, but god, it was so good that game. He passed his knowledge down to always wanna fly. <laughs> Impressive they, stuff. They were both the true carries of the team, like both the supports from Na'Vi, the Lina and the Wyvern making huge plays in that game. Of course, not to discredit the carries, but 
they they mainly had a really good start because thanks to the the supports, you know, the supports secured the lane. I, I didn't expect the Husker to actually be able to do that well in the lane. He didn't get perfect CS, but he was able to farm well. He it didn't feel like they were pressuring the Husker. They needed to win the lanes. I think much better. They go energy. aggressive tri lane. That means you're not stacking for Alk. Um, you're also not really slowing down the Doom at all. Granted, it's hard to slow him yeah, down. Yeah, I mean, Sento is like, you can't really win your lane yeah. against Doom. As When Doom gets his Scorcher, you, you're not going to win your and lane. We saw what happened. Like, Doom gets six. He, well, even he was level five. They sent three heroes bottom. He dives in, kills the support, and then runs away and lives. So. No, he, he didn't keep get the support kill, did he? I think he did. No, yeah. he didn't. It was, he didn't oh, get that's the when they tried to kill yeah, him. Right. But still, like, they're committing three heroes. They can't even kill him. That's the power of the offline. No, he, he did die, but he he barely died. He like he ran through the tier one. He, yeah, he, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Yeah, we so many like, kills. My we, brain is we, my we, brain is mush after we, that we game. We were like talking about damn. If yeah. any other hero, it would have already died like ten <laughs> ten thousand years ago. He was dead. Was but like, it was because his doom. He was like oh, shrugging it off like a boss running away. To I'm the I'm gonna blame my my bad memory here on just I I I, I can't believe no, what no, happened. No, Navi, I'm, I've gone back in time. Navi actually won you, a game. You haven't had coffee. No, I, I definitely haven't had any kind of caffeine this morning, but that's no excuse. So, great showing here from uh, at Navi, guys. They win game one. This is an elimination match, so what a time to show up. Game two is coming up next. This is a best of three. NIP need to win two in a row to stave off elimination. Stick around. You're watching The Summit for Europe, brought to you by Beyond the Summit.